Cybersecurity is everyone's responsibility. I made a video about this a few months back, actually, and it's even more prominent now, right? Because obviously you guys, I'm sure, keep well aware of the news and what's happening. Um, you know, SolarWinds123, pretty phenomenal. That's what I just changed my Wi-Fi password to. So if you guys want to hack my Wi-Fi, just, you know, it's, it's all over the place right now. Everybody knows SolarWinds123. Um, <laughs> not funny, but funny. You see, why, why I say security is everyone's responsibility, um, because at all levels of you working in IT, even just working in industry, period, and that could be any industry, um, security is a, is, a, is a problem. It's a responsibility to all people. It's um, a moral responsibility in many ways as well. But I'm willing to bet that there's multiple people who had seen, who are working at SolarWinds, that that password for anything was generic, right? Um, I've seen this. I've experienced this. The last job that I had, we we overused generic usernames and passwords, and I, I was vocal about that. I expressed my concerns about that quite often. And I believe it's finally changed now. I, I, I know that it, it, it changed within the last few years. Um, they finally got smart, and that's where other people need to fall in line and get smart as well, because creating generic usernames, passwords, of course, obviously not best security practices by any means. Um, but when you see that, you need to vocalize yourself. When you see that, it's your responsibility, no matter at what level you are in an organization, it's your responsibility to not only acknowledge the fact that like you see a security concern, like you're, you're concerned about this security issue and you address the appropriate people for that. So not only should you be sending out an email because CYA, you send that email out to your manager, maybe your manager's manager, director, the CTO, the CISO, whoever, right? Like, not only are you doing that, and you're creating this the CYA to cover your butt because you want to make sure that you know people are aware that hey, you saw this issue, you saw this security issue, and you opened your mouth about it and expressed your concern, right? And you documented this. It makes people aware if they're not aware of it, but it also shows like hey, like you're keeping on top of things, right? Which is great, good for you. Keep on top of things because that's a great thing to do. But it creates this, this chain, right, of documentation, of responsibility, of acknowledgement, definitely acknowledgement that you, we are now able to acknowledge the fact that there's a security concern. And at that point, like, you know, maybe it comes back at you at some point that it, maybe you didn't acknowledge this and you saw the security concern and somehow it comes back to you. And now you're under fire because you were you know, privy to this uh, security incident or concern or lack of security, and you didn't, uh, you, you didn't acknowledge it to anybody. And, and then that comes back on you in, in a bad way. And we don't want to do that, right? So that's why we, we, we're, we're vocal about it. We're, we're making security our responsibility. The point of this, obviously, because, you know, solar winds <laughs> just happened and it's just as crazy to me, but it, 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 I'm, the whole point of this was I've experienced this. Personally, generic passwords, generic usernames, a combination of both, and it's, it's, uh, it's frustrating, it's disappointing, it's so depressing to see organizations and companies doing this, especially at the level of solar winds of all freaking places, but this happens everywhere, and this just goes to show you, like, you can be a multi-billion dollar organization and you still don't have common sense. Right, and it's not that Solar Winds doesn't have a common sense. I'm not trying to to flame Solar Winds. I'm not trying to blame them or whatever. It's they're just not responsible. Like that's not a responsible thing to do. And they're, like I said, there's probably multiple people that were actually privy to that to actually know that there was a generic password like that. So why why is that still? I don't. This is where it comes back to the start of this video. Security is your responsibility. It's all of our responsibility. Um, from social engineering to, you know, maintaining antivirus on computers and, you know, making sure that, uh, you know, security updates are, are done all the time and your Windows updates are done all the time, application updates are done all the time, right? This is important stuff. 
it's all of our responsibility because if it's not our responsibility, then it just, everything falls through the cracks and things like this happen, right? So the more that you can acknowledge this and put yourself in that mind of frame, frame of mind, <laughs> that security is your responsibility. You don't have to be a security expert. I'm not telling you guys you need to go out and be a security expert. You need to go out and get a CISSP. Absolutely do not do that. Go get a security plus for sure because that's a great certification. Don't get a security plus certification. I don't care. The point of this is to keep it on your mind, to be aware of it, to be aware and acknowledge of what's you know, happening around you. And there's a, there's a big tie-in just with that and security in general. And it's something I'm passionate about. And obviously I'm making this video and, and acknowledging it and talking about it because I want you guys, as you guys are out there trying to enter this field or you're you know, in the beginning stages of your career in IT, like security is your responsibility. And you don't have to be a SOC analyst. You don't have to be like a, a network security administrator. You don't have to be a CISO. You don't. You can be in help desk. You can be a level one tech. You can be a network administrator. Security is your responsibility. Always, foremost, the number one priority is always security. And I say this because obviously in today's age, everything is digital. Every single thing that you pretty much do nowadays, especially as you're working in IT, right? Like everything's digitalized. Everything is done over the internet. It's done on a computer. And you work in those systems and on those systems and you work in IT. So this becomes your responsibility to make sure that these devices and networks are secured. Whether you have that title or not, you still need to keep not only a best practice in mind, but Keep the responsibility you have to the organization in mind. Like you're there to help them with their technology. So continue to help them by addressing your concerns with security. Don't let SolarWinds 1, 2, 3 happen to you or your organization. Because that sucks. That sucks. And again, I'm not saying that SolarWinds is any, I'm not saying anything bad about SolarWinds, first of all. I will definitely make a few wisecracks here and there because that's funny. But I'm not saying anything bad about it. I think there's a lot of organizations that are clearly guilty of doing things that shouldn't have ever happened or shouldn't have ever been allowed to happen. Um, it's just, you know, a lot of things, especially in large organizations, you you miss out on things and you uh, you don't get to see everything all the time, right? Like a lot of things happen behind the scenes. A lot of things happens with different departments and some things get missed. And But point is says, just be aware, be involved. This is a long video of me ranting and walking around my office. As you guys can see, um, I only have one section done, right? Like this is for the next gen T stuff. That area is done. This over here, this will be the IT career question space soon when I figure out what I'm doing. This, this actually, this little get up, that's not going to stay. It's like cute and small. I'm a big boy. That's a little bit too small for me, but we're going to, we're going to do some things. We're going we're to make this new studio space look all right. Hopefully. No, it should. I'm pretty excited for it. So this was like an update. This was like a thing that I wanted to do. I wanted to get something out there on the YouTube. And I also wanted to try out 4K on the iPhone because I got an iPhone. Yeah. Everybody, every single person that I've messaged, I'm not editing this video at all, but every single person that I message, like text message, they're like, oh my God, your text is blue. You're on an iPhone. What's wrong with you? What happened? Even my neighbor, was like freaking out because I got an iPhone. She's like, how could you get an iPhone? You hate iPhones. I'm like, uh, need something different. Here we are. I actually like it. Anyway, that's all I got for today's video. This video is sponsored by NextGenT. If you guys are looking to take your career to the next level, make sure you guys check out the link in the description below for nextgent.com. Take yourself from a zero to engineer. Yes, we do that. Their training is phenomenal. Our whole entire program is phenomenal. So make sure you check it out in the link in the description below. That's all I got for you guys today. Hope you enjoyed this video. Peace.